A week on the road for the Wisconsin basketball team. Coach Greg Gard's team with a Tuesday matchup against Michigan in Ann Arbor, followed by a Friday road trip to the Rack in Piscataway against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. We'll talk a little Wisconsin hoops with the Badgers head coach. And we're also this week going to turn some focus to Wisconsin volleyball, a team that played in the national championship match more than a calendar year ago. But Coach Kelly Sheffield's team finally gets the season going this week with a couple of home matchups against the Purdue Boilermakers. Wisconsin volleyball, a preseason number one. So we'll get you a sneak peek into Wisconsin volleyball as well. All coming up on today's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Demetri Trice averaging about 22 a game over his last five. Here's to Tyler Wall, left of the lane, almost had his pocket picked. Loose ball snapped up by Potter. He'll throw to Brad, fakes the three, whips it into Potter, down the lane, two-hand slam dunk from Micah Potter. Drops it down to Reaver, shot clock at 10, Nate backing on Omo Ruyi. Turns in the lane, goes up, blocked away. Nate gets it back, pinballed around, pulled down by Mulcahy, threw it away to Davison. He'll try a deep three and bury it from straight away. Turned into a scramble play, and Davison hits his second three. Another steal for Aline. Trice up the other way, drops it back to Ford. Wanted to step into the three instead. Swoops off the wing to the rim. Yes, with the right hand, it counts, and a foul. Potter back in there for Wisconsin. A lean forward, a shot fake. Little show and go. Low on the right. Scoops it up and in on the reverse, right to left. Oh, a pretty move from a lean forward. Five to shoot. Price off the wing. And he beats Potter. Down the lane. Slam dunk. Counted. And a foul. Badgers move from the field house to the final four. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Kendrick Bryan. The Badger Sports Report is built by Ford, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. By High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. High V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine. The healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. Some see a grilled cheese sandwich and ask why. I see a new kitchen with a grill and ask why not. I really need to start adding less to cart and more to savings. Sitting on this couch so long made me want to make some changes, starting with this couch. Yeah, I need a house with a different view. And this is the bank that will help you do it all. Because at U.S. Bank, our people are dedicated to turning your new inspiration into your next pursuit. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game, so you better bundle up, Toyota. Get 0.9% APR for 60 months on a new 2021 RAV4 or lease a new 2021 Highlander Hybrid for $319 a month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Injured? You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Lofses today. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Lofses, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. Okay, he will use it, turns the corner, low on the right, got hung up, he's Harper, left of the lane, got tied up by Wall, flipped it up off the side of the glass, no whistle, Harper can't believe it. Tries to feed for a lean forward, Euro step down the lane, layup good. Going right to left, to lean forward, gives the Badgers the lead, 46-44. Wall high on the right. He'll throw to Trice up top. He'll try a three. Got it. Demetric Trice 
His first triple of the game. Trice picked up by Omo Ruyi with three to shoot. Trice will for three. It's good. Demetric Trice starting to heat up. Trice out front. Ball screen. Reavers. Trice puts it on the deck. Right lane line. Glides to the goal. Layup good. And Demetric Trice start to take over for Wisconsin. Timeout Rutgers. I mean, we, we know we were a better team than that that performance that we had. So we kind of just, I mean, got together and uh, addressed things and put it all out there on the floor and kind of put it behind us, but still we know, know what we need to do to improve on. And uh, whether it was energy, defense, uh, on Tuesday, it was all of those things. So we just knew we had to bring it today. You know, our shots weren't falling at the rate that it usually was or that we would like it to be. You got to find other ways to win. I um, mean, you know, coming into the game, we were focused on um, defense, defense, rebounding, our togetherness. And so those are definitely the three keys that got us to win. Not necessarily shooting, not necessarily the pretty things that people like to talk about, um, but it's the, the things that good, great teams do to win. So really proud of our guys. Get ready for more. Introducing Hy-Vee Plus. Get a Hy-Vee Plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, you can call our Red Line Hotline day or night for anything you need. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. Plus, a personal online shopper. With Hy-Vee Plus, our plus equals more. Sign up today. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. Well, we thought now would be a pretty good time. We'd like to do this during the course of the season is circle back and, and get coaches' thoughts on, on some of the younger guys who maybe you don't see on a regular basis, game in and game out. And let's start with the, with the longest one, the seven-footer, Stephen Crowell. Um, just we, Mike Lucas and I get a chance to watch you guys in practice from time to time, and pretty evident why you recruited him. Uh, he, he's continuing to grow, get stronger, Kid knows how to play this game though doesn't he? yeah i think that's the most important you know uh fact right there matt is that he is uh even more so than i think even what we thought when we recruited him he, he's further along than i thought he'd be at this point in time um you mentioned the strength component but man he's really working at that and competes just knows how to play um and you can't teach seven feet and and he impacts a lot of things around the rim he gets his hands on a lot of rebounds um, really skilled, really smart, really good IQ, passes it really well. Um, you know, we were, he was Trace Jackson Davis, and he gave us as much problems in practice as what Trace Jackson gave it, Davis gave us in the game. Um, you know, so he, uh, he's going to be a really good player here. You know, in a, in a normal year, he's probably on the floor if we don't have so many senior frontline guys in front of him. Um, but I think, you know, if, if, you know, he has been a little bit in the non conference, but, uh, you know, really, pleased with where he's at uh, and like I said I think with this being a free year and, and playing where we can play him where it's a appropriate knowing that it doesn't cost a year of eligibility at the same time he's you know growing and developing and spending a little extra time in the weight room with coach Snyder so I'm really happy with where Steven's at right now it's been interesting and I think you and I have talked about this before about on other platforms but you know we're seeing Jonathan Davis and, and Jordan Davis is someone you see a niche for him. I mean, that's not to say he can't do any number of things, but you see a niche specifically with him, don't you? I, I do. And, and I think that niche is something that he always had, even in high school. He was always um, kind of a defensive stopper. And he's big and he's physical, um, you know, which is important when you're playing defense. You have to be able to take some hits and keep going. So I, I think from that standpoint, just trying to find ways for him to, you know, um, be in a position where uh, down the road he can be in that uh, fight for some minutes. And I think defensively he's working on his shooting, it's working on his ball handling. Uh, but I think the defensive aspect, that, and, he, and he's bought in, into that. He's got a toughness to him. Uh, that's that whole football component that I like in players. 
Um, they've got a little extra to them that they like contact, they embrace contact. And, and Jordan, I think, uh, you know, has a chance to really be in that position down the road. And he's a student of the game. He's, as you mentioned, we see him a lot after games, you know, out shooting on his own. And he spends a lot of time working on his game uh, when coaches aren't around, which is good to see. A couple other guys, Carter Gilmore out of Heartland and, and Justin Taphorn from from Peak in Illinois. I should also mention Ben Carlson continues to, to work his way back. He's been he's been banged up here for the last few weeks. Uh, certainly a very skilled young man as well. But guys like Gilmore and Taphorn, what are you seeing from those two guys? Right yeah, now? you know, Taphorn is another one like just uh, Jordan Davis spends a lot of time in the gym working on his game. And, and I think this has been eye opening yet. But yet at the same time, I think he's seeing like how his niche can be down the road. Where can he find a way? You know, and I want all these guys to to go with that mindset that, hey, you find a way to, to crack this rotation down the road when your time comes. So don't just don't be happy um, and don't be content with being on the scout team all the time. Try to fight and take somebody's, you know, take somebody's minutes down the road um, in, in future years. But, uh, you know, Justin doing that and working on his game and Carter, I think just you can see the skill set. You can see the basketball IQ. The body needs to continue to grow and mature and 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 maybe uh ad advance and that's something that we've talked about and that'll be uh you know he'll have spent a lot of time in the weight room and continue to develop his body and, and work on athleticism and, but i think those things can be attainable as he again figures out what college basketball is like and and that's the best teacher there is get in practice get knocked around a little bit see where you're deficient and now go work at it and, and come back when your time comes make sure you're ready for that and be better physically so okay. They're all working. I can't. I can't complain. The work ethic has been terrific. And in the meantime, that, that work on the scout team. You know, we, we we talk about it every year, but there's a reason we do it. I think I can think of a lot of guys through the years who maybe didn't get the minutes that they were hoping when they set foot on campus. But my goodness, they were important. And what these guys are doing, they, they, they maybe they understand it now. They'll probably understand it better later. How important they are, day in and day out. Yeah, absolutely. And how important that is to their development. I think sometimes they, the, you know, the casual observer thinks, well, they're on a scout team. It's that that's valuable time, especially when you're going against the maturity and experience that we have across from them. And I remind of them of that all the time. Don't waste these opportunities to, to learn. And, and a lot of times you learn by being on the, you know, on the bottom looking up, so to speak, in terms of the competition that takes place every day in practice. But uh, hopefully they're learning. Time will tell. Um, if they take to heart everything that they're being taught, and, and not only from the coaches, but from their upperclassmen teammates as well. Yeah, no doubt. Long list of guys through the years started their careers with the scout team, and they ended up being really valuable players for the Badgers on game day, game night, whatever the case, as their careers progressed. Stay with us. We have more to come as we continue with this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool, and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it. But as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game, so you better bundle up, Toyota. Get 0.9% APR for 60 months on a new 2021 RAV4 or lease a new 2021 Highlander Hybrid for $319 a month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Uh, we have talked a lot about Wisconsin football. We've talked a lot about Wisconsin basketball. The hockey programs are going, and finally, and I would capitalize all the letters and underline the words, finally, I'm sure many people would say that the Wisconsin volleyball team is set to go this week, ready to get the season going against the Purdue Boilermakers. We are joined now by head coach Kelly Sheffield, who begins year number eight. I had to do a double take when I saw that. I guess time flies when you're having fun and winning a lot. Uh, is it true? Time flies for you. Your number, season number eight, uh, Kelly, uh, guiding the Badger wins a volleyball program. 
You know, there's some times that it feels like I've been here for, a, a, you know, a lot longer than that. But then there's other times it feels like you're just getting started. And so, you, you know, it's, uh, you know, things you're familiar with the things in this area and, and how things operate. And and uh, uh, but there's also a freshness uh, to, to this still. And that, I think that's the people that you surround yourself with is that there's, you know, there's just such a great energy. And then you throw this year on top of it and just, you know, coming out. Coming at, back from the uh, the longest off season in the history, uh, it's just there's just so much enthusiasm about we're finally at the doorstep. Let's go. I could only try to imagine what it's been like for your student athletes. How has it been for them and for you and your staff as well? In, in from the fall when they're normally ready to be in action, what's it been like for them staying ready, getting ready, and I guess staying ready for a season? Matt, it's probably one of those things that you're just really fortunate of kind of where we're at right now. Um, you know, very experienced team, a lot of seniors on this team, uh, a coaching staff. You know, my staff, we've been around each other for a long, long time. Um, you know, so it probably feels a little bit different than what it would if I had a, you know, very young team or a, breaking in a lot of new coaches or staff members. Um, so probably start off with that, but it's, the, the mentality is just it's everybody impresses me so much with how they've gone about this you know with just a maturity and an optimism um you know a, a focus um doing what you've got to do without uh you know without complaining being grateful for what we have i think uh, also an understanding of what's going on around the world that you know our problems are pretty small compared to a lot of other people so man i'm constantly just blown away by how uh, the team in particular, how they've approached all of this. It just, it continues to amaze me. You jump, you, it's a Big Ten only schedule. We'll get into that in a second. I know Coach Guard has talked a lot uh, about a lot of red-white scrimmages. You, you try to get as much of a game environment, or in your case, a match environment as possible. Uh, has it been much of the same? You get in as much good scrimmage work as you can before you, you jump in and get ready for Purdue? Yeah, I mean, we, we had one the other day, you know, so we, uh, our, our kids were pretty fired up because I think there was probably about 15 people in the field house that they were playing in front of. It was like, ooh, big, <laughs> big crowd here, you know, but you had, you know, Bonnie, you know, at the, you know, announcing and you had, you know, the marketing people doing their thing and you had the scorekeepers and they're all they're all coming in here and trying to go through the protocols with, you know, plexiglass between them and, and everything. And um it, you know, yeah, you, you do what you can. Uh, you had the fake, the great fake crowd noise in there that, you know, that really amped up the energy level of the field house. You know, they got to put on the jerseys and it's, you know, that brings out a different type of butterflies and, and uh, an anxiousness that we were able to work through. So, yeah, we're getting closer. We talk a lot with basketball about how good the conference is top to bottom. It sure looks like it's going to be much the same in your sport. Six teams in the league in the top 25, four in the top 10. Is this business as usual in volleyball in the Big Ten Conference? It certainly feels like this is as good as it, it has the potential of being as good of, as it's been since I've been here, maybe ever. You know, you've got two Final Four teams. We return a, 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 an awful lot of players. So, so does Minnesota who's in the Final Four. They return a bulk of their, their team. Nebraska who would beat in the Elite Eight, returns every single player on the roster, uh, their starting lineup. You know, Penn State returns almost everybody. Purdue returns almost everybody. Michigan, great recruiting class, bringing back people. It, it's gnarly. I mean, it's 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 um, it's a great conference. It's uh, best conference in our sports. You know, it's uh, I think at one point last year, we had five of the top seven teams in the country in, in the Big Ten. And uh, this year seems to be a lot more experienced than what it was last year. So we'll play 22 matches this year. That's a little bit different than what we typically play with 20. We'll play two, the same opponent on back-to-back -back nights. So, you know, we'll really cut down on this uh, on the, the travel part of it. But it's, uh, it brings in a new newness. I'll have to talk to Tony Granado and Mark Johnson about how going about playing a team same, you know, on back-to-back -back nights because it's not something we, we do here. So, um uh, we're looking forward to it. I want to touch on some of your uh, of your athletes. You have four All-Americans back. With Dana and Sydney specifically, we talk a lot in sports about player development. Where have they gotten better in their time in your program? 
you know, Sydney got, she graduated from high school a semester early and immediately took, took the reins. Uh, she was our starting setter. And matter of fact, uh, she had enough votes from her teammates uh, when she first got here to be a team captain, uh, you know, which was, which was amazing, you know, but we decided not to have a freshman be a, be a team <laughs> captain for it, but she has the last three years. You know, first of all, how she runs the team is a lot different. She's calmer, uh, able to kind of go through, you, you know, the ebbs and flows of, of a match a little bit better, not quite as high strong as probably what she was earlier, uh, being able to flow with things uh, outside the game plan a little bit better. Um, certainly her defense, her serving, her blocking has all gotten uh, uh, tremendously better. So there's been a uh, – she's come a long ways. Dana – Man, Dana was a, uh, you know, she came on the scene and made an immediate impact. I mean, you don't have too many freshmen, true freshmen that are uh, first team All-Americans and uh, National Freshman of the Year. But um, she was almost a, a player that, you know, she didn't know how good she was. She didn't really know, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, hey, I guess I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> and um, the nuances of the sport, she's not making nearly as many errors as what she was earlier. She's reading the game at a much higher level, comfortable in who she is. You know, she was at, uh, you know, like I said, everything was just so new to her that you had these big wide eyes looking everywhere uh, back then. Now there's, you know, she settled in a little bit. And I want to steal another question that we've given to the, the men's basketball players the last yeah. couple of years. It's, it's more we've directed it to players. Um, when they said, okay, who's somebody who is ready to make that next step? Maybe not necessarily all American, but just ready to, to raise the level of play. And last year it was a lean forward. This year players are pointing to Tyler Wall. Uh, has, has there been talk amongst your players like, okay, whoever it is, player, whoever, is ready to raise her level? Who might Yeah, that there's be? a lot of talk about Tyler Wall. Uh, for, for us we're, we're constantly talking about him I, th I agree with you I think he's the guy <laughs> um, I, I'd probably say Lauren Barnes okay um, you know she is um, uh, defensive specialist for us last year she'll jump into the to the libero jersey I mean it's a uh, you know she is just owning the backcourt right now and, and taking charge and you know is um you know, she, she's playing at a really high level, but, uh, you know, she's not this kind of, uh, you know, last year she transferred in. So she's a little bit, a little bit probably softer with, with her words and, you know, and, and how she led last year, let some of the older players like Tiffany Clark and Emmy Dodge and Sarah Dodd, you know, grab the reins. But, uh, you know, there's just a, there's a tenacity about her that is coming out in words and action uh, at a different level than I've ever seen. She's, I think she's, She's um, she's got a chance to have a special season for us. It's, it's different for your athletes. I know the fans. You have an incredibly loyal and very good sized fan base. It'll be different for them, but I know they'll be tuned in. I know they'll be watching when they can. John Audius does a great job with the radio broadcast on iHeart. I, I hope you all can enjoy it. Get a chance to go uh, do what you do best. And I know we're looking forward to watching you tune play. Appreciate your time. I appreciate your time as well. Thank you. All right, Badgers coach Kelly Sheffield. The Badgers against Purdue, the 22 match Big Ten season opening this weekend for Wisconsin at the Fieldhouse. Stay with us. More to come as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F 150 with 375 horsepower and best in class payload. Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com The Badger Sports Report is built by Ford, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. By Hy-V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hy-V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers.
and UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. We thank volleyball coach Kelly Sheffield for joining us this week. A reminder, the Badger men's basketball team, they've got a home matchup now Wednesday night against Northwestern, 8 o'clock tip at the Cole Center, and then Ohio State comes in on Saturday afternoon. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Get ready for more. Introducing Hy-Vee Plus. Get a Hy-Vee Plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, you can call our Red Line Hotline day or night for anything you need. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. Plus, a personal online shopper. With Hy-Vee Plus, our plus equals more. Sign up today. Compeer Financial has always been there for our clients and communities in any situation. And our support continues today as our clients work relentlessly to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Compeer is proud to continue our strong commitment to our clients, the rural communities where they live, and to agriculture. We're here to help meet the financial needs of rural America. And we'll navigate through this together. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa.